Two tribes sworn to hate. Their blood-stained bodies left out in the open to rot. Their souls longing for a peace that they failed to find. As they sought to break the shackles of darkness and heal the wounds of the past, fate denied their quest and thrust them into war. The bridges of hope some dared to build between them were torn asunder. Their dreams were ripped from their hearts with a sword, with a destiny revealed at last. Pardon me. Tenzin Sama. You summoned me, Ogun Sama. Yes, Tenzin. I must ask you when the Oda made their initial attack against us, where in the battle were you? I am ashamed to say that I missed it. The moment fighting commenced, I received a single gunshot wound and died. I heard something, Ogensama. Apparently, you missed the perfect opportunity to kill Koga Danjo. A pity. I assumed that taking such harsh action proved too much. You were deceived by someone for whom you held such strong feelings. Even the boldest of warriors could find such a thing overwhelming. But please, do not consider this a failure by any means. Danjo being alive has unified the Iga more than his death ever could. I take my leave of you. Tenzin, please wait. Forgive my weakness. <laughs> Ogensama, the insults are over. I will not allow the past mistakes to be repeated. Oborosama will be mine, and Genosuke, I will bury him with my own hands.
sounds of the wind are chilling. Perhaps they bother you because they are actually curses of the dead. Tell me, Genesuke-sama, after the things we heard tonight, are you having any second thoughts? This cannot be stopped. The bloodshed of both Koga and Iga will continue until one is eradicated from this world. Only on that day will this war end. Where is Genesuke-sama? I asked him to get some rest and stay out of sight for a while. If the Iga are being protected by the Tokugawa, the tide will hasten a turn in our direction. But Genesuke-sama has made up his mind. He said himself that he is prepared to kill Oboro and the Iga. Even more reason to hide him. We need our leader to survive at all costs. It is he that carries us. We need him to follow through with the goal that we may be unable to complete. Listen. Kagero. The sun will always rise and set. This is a constant. But during the next few cycles, how many more lives will be lost? I do not wish to appear this way any more than Genesuke-sama wishes to hide. But we do our part so those in Koga can live their lives. Do you believe we can win? Hmm. Be alert. We must assure our guests' safety. Oboro-sama. No, you can't. You must stay inside. Akikinyu, I am sorry, but I wish to walk. I want to feel the earth beneath my feet. I do not want to forget this one thing. That we are truly alive and part of the world. Just what do you think you're doing? Don't you realize the Koga could attack at any second? You must exercise more caution. We're moving right now. To your positions, men! Yes, yes sir. sir! She refused breakfast and has not touched the dinner before her. Let her do as she pleases. She need only survive until the successorship has been made official. This inn houses an important person who enjoys their privacy. There are no vacancies. Interesting. Now what important person would that be? A vagrant like you doesn't need to know. Now get out of here before I remove you myself. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion, Tenzin Sama, but these men are merely vassals. They're with Lady Ofuku, who is the wet nurse for Lord Takachio, the Shogun's firstborn. Their party came upon Oboro and I when we found Koshiro. Then she is in line with the Shogun? Please, Tenzin Sama, listen. We must tell her. Explain it. Why we are here. There is no time. I have other pressing issues. I have located a Koga, the woman who is known to her people as Kagero. I saw her at Imurabashi, waiting, or so it seemed. 
It is likely that the ones for whom she is waiting are none other than Koga Genosuke and Kizarage Saima. If you're going on a hunt for Koga blood, we would like to lend our support. You would be wise to leave war to the soldiers. The fight that rages is not yours. The Koga are much too formidable an opponent for the likes of you. <sighs> Do not forget that we are eager by birth. Our pride would never allow us to have anyone hurt our enemies but us. Does he need to fight them alone? If you didn't know, Kagero is the one who killed Koshiro. Koshiro Dono. But I saw him there. He died while he was fighting Hioma. So you were to understand. But from what I know, this Kagero woman is a stealthy type who will gladly steal a kiss from a man just before turning her breath into poison. You didn't find any wounds on Koshiro's body, did you? This treacherous art takes no effect on women. So, I'm afraid I must ask you... Tenzin-sama! You must wait for a moment while I retrieve something. We can't. Akeginyo, is that what I think it is? Please forgive me. I know that he is our enemy, but to Oboro-sama, he is the man she loves. I didn't think it right to send her into the world with nothing to remember him by. <laughs> think nothing of it. I will allow this, but we will speak no more of it. This woman you call Ofuku, is she prepared to use all her resources to kill the Koga herself? Yes. Then she is a fool. The succession is not something that any Koga or Iga would consider. What exists between our people is hatred and vengeance, a drive to bring this age-old feud to a close. If any of us were to use outsiders to bring about victory, we would disgrace all of those who died before us. Their souls could never rest in peace after such an indiscretion. I agree. I felt that way about this conflict since I was just a young girl. I want to ensure no Koga ever see the sunrise again. This war, it is my war, and it will only end when they all die. I wish, though, that through these dark days, Oboro-sama would not be without sight. I worry for her. Her eyes, she must make it to Sunpu. They are a serious problem for all our interests. I don't much want to be in a war between two clans, but Lady Ofuku has ordered this. This flute of Koga Genosuke, you have had it with you since last being in Subagakure? Yes. From what I've come to understand, it was given to Oboro-sama as a token of farewell and remembrance from Genosuke. Then why do you keep it? It is not your gift to give and receive at will? If it is Oboro-sama's, then she should have it. This flute might quell the longing inside her. It may do the opposite. The human heart is more difficult to understand than anything, especially the heart of your enemy. No matter how you may meditate over the subject, 
The answers simply do not come. It is one of the oldest mysteries. Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's time. Are you ready? Yes. Where is Genosuke? He's not here to protect you? I challenge you! That's funny because I've been waiting for you, Akagenyu. Koga and the Iga. We are all the same in birth and in death. All of us human. We need to break these bindings of hatred and revenge which hold us. We need to open our eyes to the other side. To the Iga. Even if it is only one of them. Then that one we will try to know and better understand. It is not possible. The time to know the other side has passed. It is time to finish this bloody war. You did a very nice job gaining her trust. I commend you. Thank you. Only one remains alive, Obero. If you don't mind, I would like to be the one to kill her. It would be my honor. Perhaps you're unaware. Obero's eyes have been blinded. <sighs> Do you think we should go? Mm -hmm. 
Greetings, men. Please forgive me for my earlier rudeness. I did not know you were the lady's vassals. I was raised in a place where niceties are seldom used, so I ended up a bit rougher on the edges. I hope you understand. I don't see Akakenu. Is she with you here? No, she is gone. Went Koga hunting. Specifically for their leader, Genosuke. She did? Where is he? We know he was seriously injured in a conflict. All likelihood points to him ending up dead on some road. Akagenyu went searching just to be sure. According to Akagenyu Dono, one Koga woman also remained. She said that this woman is a crafty one who goes by the name of Kagero. I know this woman. I have been holding her captive for some time. And what have you done with her? First I tied her up. Then I went about making her into a woman. And the strangest thing happened. She now favors solely the flesh of the Iga. Interesting. Yes. You are truly a warrior. I should have known. Your strength back at the inn was the first clue to your greatness. We are all quite fortunate to have such staggering power on our side. But there is something about you that I'm most overwhelmed by. Akaginyu Dono told us that you have a great ability. Don't you? She said no matter how many wounds are inflicted on your body, you will never die. She said that you are an immortal ninja. What? for those lost fall like blood from a blade. Aware of deception, a warrior's beaded breath hangs heavy in the air. The flesh of those loved and lost can tempt like moths to flame, as the fires of passion burn brighter than even those of revenge. All roads lead to death, but passion may prove an even quicker path to the end. On the next basilisk, with all her heart. <laughs>